Chicago supplier. TV.com. Go ahead and fuck with it. We are? Huh? You can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, here we go. All right. We got Cocky and Rude on the phone. Yeah. Yes, Miss Cocky and Rude is here. Tamisha Nicole Brown, that is. But okay. also okay. Cocky and Rude. So, how are you doing? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this interview is all about you. So go ahead and let the people know who you are and, and what it is well, that you do. Well, I'm Cocky and Rude. Cocky and Rude came out in 2012, social media wise. Uh, was uh, under me and my brother, you know what I'm saying? Something happened to him tragically in the streets, but he was very musically inbound. So I just kept the trend up, but the trend is like more getting more wider, you know, within range. So, and it is what it is. But um, I do promos, I do graphics, I do moderating. Uh, Shoot. Anything, any detail that anybody musically that 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 needs something like within my range, I'm gonna do it. Okay. You know? Yeah. All right. So. All right. So how did you get started in uh like graphic design and promo and marketing and all of that? Well, I got I got I got started, you know what I mean? I kind of self-taught myself. But it also took like little online courses and things like that as well, too. And for real, um, I can hand sketch. Really, I'm artistically bound. So. Okay. You know. Wow, you know how to draw. So you know how to draw then. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. I can hand okay. sketch. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So when it comes to graphics, like mm -hmm. you know how to make album covers, mixtape covers, all of that. Yeah, but I to make album covers, mixtape covers, banners, logos, promos, um, even moderation. If you have like Video. music groups, yeah, if you have music groups or music pages and need moderation, I got that, you know what I mean? And I okay. like to place the artist music through all social sites. Okay. All right. All right. That's what's up. So how did the name Cocky and Rude come about? Cocky and Rude came about, it was me and my brother at first. I'm Cocky. He's Rude. He was an artist. He was an artist. You know what I mean? But mm. I was the person, you know what I'm saying, that, that did the artwork, that push, that did like you know the um settings for like shows and stuff like that there so that's how the name and the trend got started okay all right and so is there any labels any music artists that you work closely with well i closely work with we the money team atm well that's addicted to music also very close to Gold Supreme Empire. Um, well, there's like so many. I have like, I'll just say movements. Cocky and Rude is, is attached to seven movements, I'll say. Okay. Okay. But I'm very, very close to We The Money Team, LSM, ATM, GSE, very much so. All right. All right. Other, uh, how, how did that other, relationship come about? Um, that relationship came about We The Money Team, I say back in uh, 2013, actually. Okay. 2013, I saw the drive from an artist, Max Sosa. And that just really, like, really made me get, really made me get into it, back into it. You know what I mean? So I just like I push my frame, you know what I mean? And I'm like quite honored anyway, because it gave me an opening, you know, working with We Money TV though. It gave me an opening. Okay. All yeah. right. So 
uh, my brother Jay Way, he has this question that he asks a lot of artists that come through mainstream radio. By the way, we're on mainstream uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm in the mix at 7 p.m. And then Thursday, I'm in the mix at 9 p.m. But we right. ask a lot of artists and, and people who we interview, we ask them their top five artists of all time, like their personal favorites. Do you have five personal favorite artists that you listen to? Yes, I do. I like Tupac, Nas, Mob Deep. Okay. Oh, ain't, ain't nobody ever said Mob Deep. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. All okay. right. And Wu Tang. Okay. Wu Tang. All right. All right. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now I want to talk about uh, current events. Um, as in, like, the Black Lives Matter movement. What is your take on everything that's going on, like, or, like along the lines of the Black Lives, the Black Lives Matter movement, and you know? Well, Black Lives Matter all day, all year, all set around. But for president, I think that it's sucks for president to really make you know. Um, how can I put this? Um, Black Lives Matter. I really, really don't like to touch that, but I'm just going to say we matter. We've been mattering since my grandparents uh -huh. and since their grandparents. But uh -huh. for a president to, you know what I'm saying, um, conquer and divide, that don't seem right. And I'm just going right. to leave it to you like that. Okay. All right, so there was this, uh, there was a situation where uh, Ti rapper Ti did a, a a Crime Stoppers commercial. This was a while back. I want to say like it was about ten plus years ago, where uh, mm -hmm. Ti did a. Uh, you, you heard about it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the video recently resurfaced and. You know, I've there's other artists calling him like a. They, they're saying that he's a rat and he's a snitch and all this other stuff. So, my question to you is, if you were ever in a legal situation where the only way you could get a lesser sentence or have the charges dropped altogether was to do a Crime Stoppers commercial, would you do the commercial, or or would you not do the commercial, and why? Um, I wouldn't do no crime, you know, I wouldn't do no crime stopper commercial. I'm just going to be honest. I'll just do the time. Because <laughs> uh, Boosie, Boosie said the same thing. Boosie Badass said the same thing on a, in a Vlad TV commercial, well, in a Vlad TV interview. You know you what I mean? Do... I'll just do the time. I wouldn't do no commercial, you know what I mean? Because it's like when you do commercials and cert certain TVs and stuff, they try to, you know what I'm saying, stereotype you. So, mm. therefore, no, I'll leave it to you like that. Wow. Because I, uh, I interviewed Sleep last week, Sleep Bossolini. Yes, yes. He, LSM. LSM. He, he said, he, yeah, shout out to Sleep Bossolini. He said he wouldn't do the commercial either. <laughs> I bet he wouldn't. Me neither. I, I, just, I don't know. I, I know. I probably would do the commercial. I I, I would do it. Really? Cause oh, wow. yeah, I would. Like, what's your definition of snitching, though? Like, it it just depends. Like, what what is, what is your definition of of being a rat, being a snitch? Snitches get ditches. <laughs> <laughs> Because to me, snitching is you actually naming names. Like, you, yeah. you your fingers. Yeah. You're like, yeah, it was you. That's, you did it. That's, that's my definition of snitching. Mm -hmm. That's not G code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when he did the commercial, it, it didn't seem like he was, uh, he, he was snitching. It was more like he was doing a like, drop. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, but see, he's out there in the limelight and things. But I mean, certain people have their own, you know, life setting, you know, thoughts. But I wouldn't do no commercial. Mm -mm. I'll just do my time because I mean, sometimes certain televisions and 
interviews and stuff like that, you get stereotyped, it gets flipped, you know what I'm saying, like a pancake, and hey, ain't nobody got time for that. Right. All right, mm -hmm. so uh, with this whole coronavirus thing going on and everybody being in quarantine and, and, and being on lockdown, with, you know, certain states are lifting restrictions now. Um, I got to say on you that you done... Point during the quarantine, during this, during the peak of the coronavirus, to uh, stay relevant and to, you know, continue working? What are some things that you've been doing? Well, first off and foremost, I, I had quarantine time, but you have to get around for grocery shopping and equal things for your kids and yourself. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you know what I'm saying? I just put my, my drive more up to peak. You know what I mean? My craft more into peak. You know. Okay. That's what I've been doing. All right. So you uh, still doing the the graphics and everything even during quarantine? Yeah, graphics, promos, uh, promoting, pushing. You claim it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, I probably should have asked this uh, earlier in in the interview, but uh, where are you from? Exactly. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I was raised up here, but I also was raised down in California too. So Pittsburgh, California is my town. Okay. Yeah. San Diego, Oklahoma, at that. All right. So originally from Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh, spent time in, in, in California. Yeah. California, San Diego. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. all right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, yeah. Where do you see Cocky and Rude in 10 years from now? In 10 years from now, I want to be merged with some companies. That's where I see myself right now. Right now, I'm in the process of trying to merge with some companies. All right. Any companies in particular? Ooh, I got a whole long list. You know what I mean? Whole long list. All my movements businesses, I want to merge with them. And if I can be, you know what I'm saying, placed less with like a couple mainstream and stuff like that there, yeah, that would be an extra blessing, right? Mm hmm All right. Would you prefer to stay indie or would you want to uh, become commercial? I say indie. Indie, like, mm, I don't know. I, I, I'll say indie. I'll say both indie and commercial, because okay. both of them is both of them do swing. Right. Right, and indie, like when but you're indie, independent, indie you, call you your make, own every, make all the rules and all the money stays yeah, in house. Indie, your own rules. I know that, but. I say in between, you know what I mean? I like to go, I like to go for, I just like to go for it, you know? Okay. All right. Um, what is your take on this upcoming election? I know you don't really uh, speak on political things, but uh, on a scale of one to 10, how important is voting to you? Voting is very important to those that can vote and those that's willing to vote and those that is that needs to vote. You know what I mean? It's very important, but um, the political side didn't change ever since um, Obama left the office. And I will just leave you. I'll leave you with that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It has changed. Um, you know, but like you said, voting is very important. You know, I. It is Personally, I plan to go vote. I plan to go vote in uh, November. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. there is ways for felons to vote, too. I was like, uh, say that again. There is ways for felons to vote, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know I, what like, I mean? That's why yeah, I'm I, I want to put this out there, there, too. I want to put this yeah. out there, too. Uh, if you're not registered, go register. You know, there's That's still right. time. It's still time to register to vote. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. You got home desk computers, little offices in your house. Y'all know y'all can do it. 
Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I want to take it back to music. Um, Would you prefer to listen to today's hip hop music or uh, Mm -hmm. past hip hop music? And why? I say both, both, both. But I'm going to say I'm really deep into, you know, the 90s. But I'm also, I'm, I'm a music fan from, I say classic all the way on up to, to hip hop. I'm, I'm so serious. I love music. Music, music is life. Okay. So you listen to everything. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. That's what's I want to merge, I want to merge with some pop artists. I'm in the mission on that. That's to be continued. Okay. Uh, can you, can you speak on, uh, uh anything else with it or or that's it for right now um i just i'll tell you I, i'll leave you with that one i'll leave you okay. with that one i'm in a <laughs> process of you know i'm saying doing the connections right now but i have two in mind okay uh is do you have any favorite pop artists or 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 no uh, my favorite pop artists i love um katie perry yeah okay. I love Pink. Pink is from California. Mm-hmm. I love Lincoln Park. All right. Doors mm-hmm. I can name some. Oh, yeah. Right. I just, well, don't, listen, just, don't, listen, just don't listen to one certain. I listen to a lot of music. All right. All right. And I uh, respect the DJs. The DJs make the beat. Yes. I yes. respect the producers because they make the beats. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Producers yes, and DJs in music, producers and DJs are, are essential. And I, mm-hmm. I say all a lot of yeah. artists, especially artists that's coming into the game, they mm-hmm. need a DJ and they need a producer. You know, because yeah. um, a lot of artists, a lot of that's artists, they go that's what builds you. Right. Okay. They, a lot of artists go to YouTube and get a lot of beats off YouTube instead of just finding one producer that to work with and build with them. You know. That's right. They promote right. graph supposed to make you make the artist stay relevant. Uh make the artist stay seen. Uh you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh I want to talk about support. Um mm-hmm. And how important support is, and each each person that I've interviewed has a different had a different take on support. So uh, I want to ask you on like how important is it to have support in this industry? In this industry, I'm gonna tell you you gotta have a mean ass support system. Excuse my French on this video, but it has to be really crumb tight. But sometimes it's not though. Sometimes you have your own support system. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. I really can't speak up on it because cocky and rude and cocky and rude and cocky and rude been pushing and moving by herself. But I I tend to get some support. But support is very is very a must. Everybody wanna, you know what I mean? Uh be all, you know what I'm saying, congratulations, but they don't want to put the work in. Right. You know what I mean? hmm So, do you at all worry about the support that you get, or or no? What you say? Do you worry about the support that you get, or no? No. Uh-uh. Okay. I've been, I've, I've been cocky and rude, and cocky and rude, she could defeat the world. For sure, for sure. I like that. So regardless of who who shares your material or or who really uh shows you any kind of love, you don't worry about it. Who's really into it or not into it, I'm still getting paid. Hey, I like that. I like that. I like that one hundred percent. One hundred percent. You know, because I right, I don't I don't at all worry about who supports me either, you know. Cause uh, I'm I'm gonna keep doing my thing regardless of who's tuned in or not, you know. That's okay. For real, you gotta keep yourself going regardless if you got ten million or fifteen million not liking this, but you got thirty million and twenty million liking something. You understand? You gotta right. keep moving. 
Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, I interviewed a couple of artists when we were talking about the support thing. Um, it seems like you get more support in other cities and other markets versus your hometown. Oh, yes. Do you agree with that? You agree with that? Yes, because I'm just going to say I started in my hometown. Then I merged on out when I connected with We The Money Team. And me meeting We The Money Team, oh, it just started going around a couple states. So serious. Yeah. I got about like, uh, I say six, seven states. I'm trying to go way beyond them. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Uh... And uh, last but not least, uh, social media. How can people stay in, in, in contact with you? How can people stay up to date with what you got going on? How can they uh, get in contact with you for graphics, for you, for you to do graphics for them? Well, I'm on Facebook, Tamisha Brown. You can find me anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I have blogs as well. Okay. Oh, uh, do you do like, uh, do you, do you do like shirts and everything? Like, do you print, uh, t-shirts, hoodies? Do you do clothing as well? Do I do clothing? I have the creative mind aspects to do so. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Kaki and Rude, thank you for the interview. I appreciate, uh, you spending some time with us. Yes, DJ Key Product. You have a beautiful afternoon. All right, you too. You too. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Have a blessed day. You too. Bye bye. All right. Chicago Supplier. Go ahead and fuck with it.